What's going on guys? Fish Games here. We've got our awesome guest, Magus the Bargain. Hey, uh, we are uh, opening a native box today for your viewing pleasure. Let's see. I'm going to cut carefully here so as not to cut into any of the packs. Oh, do you have a scissors for the packs? Yes. I'm wondering. I'll go grab them. Okay, I threw this. I'm going to wrap through the looking glass. So, all right, we've got the packs. I'm just going to dump them out in stacks. I doubt that, that it's track rendered. But, um, yeah, keep track of which art has the good, uh, the good hits. See how easy these are, are to open. Oh, they're not hard to open at all. That's perfect. Let's see the Chibitina. We'll go slowly through the first couple. So I'm sure. Oh, Charnel House visit. Nice. And the Sleeping Giant. And the Ravenmocker has a rare. So as not to make this uh, <laughs> video a 40 minute video, I'm gonna go pretty quickly through this stuff. I love this set. This, like ev everything is, is so great. This is actually um, a, a Native American water drum and the white bison is one of my favorite uh, cards in the set. It's pretty cool. You can search for any uh, beastie with a spell book limit of one. This, is, this set is, is uh, I'm, I was surprised that it was holding the price that it that it is. Um, yeah, me too. But I, I just I just like almost every card in the set. Like this guy, that this I think pays for the pack. Um, oh, and a full hollow. You show the rare. That's yeah, this there one. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a hit. Okay. Uh, I think I think this is a hit. So I'm gonna sleeve that. Sleeve that puppy up. You wanna put all the sleeve stuff to the side? Yeah, we'll put, we'll put it all here. Next to the zoo. Next to the zoo, so you can see it. it's on the, there, you can see it better there. Without the, without the glare. Now I was holding this sealed, but you know, just can't hold it. Oh, nice. Uh, it's It has the, the uh, pronunciation down below. So, Amokuk. That's gonna get a sleeve as well. Full hollow. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Magic after I opened my first soon. box, definitely gave me Pokemon vibes. Yeah, but when, when I first uh, saw this uh, this uh, game announced, another white bison, um, someone commented, why do I feel nostalgic about this? And I just heard about it five minutes ago. <laughs> like I'm, I'm with you there. <laughs> Remember when we used to play Magic? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> so, bottle of hoof glue. Oh, there's a special serialized. I should I should be looking for serialized versions of of this stuff because this is actually by um, First Nation artist, um, and they they sign and serialize some of them. I think Ghost Dance. That's when you that's, that's when a nice you show hit. the rare. Mm -hmm. you take that pile and put it to the side. Right. Yeah, Ghost Dance is w one of the cards that um, I'm probably going to buy more of if I don't get a second one. I made a whole list of cards I wanted to buy from this set. Usually it's cheaper to buy the one or two cards that you want from a set and not open a box. But there were so many cards, like this. <laughs> there were so many cards that I was going to buy. I was like, I should just open a box. Ooh. An igloo. A full hollow igloo. Nice. So I'm not embarrassed to say there's some rules of medicine that I haven't figured out quite out yet like how do you make sure your trap cards are effective because you can't make your opponent attack them an asintma nice but i'm sure i'll figure that out i don't see a lot of trap cards in uh in tournament decks so maybe maybe no one's figured it out maybe it's just a mechanic that needs to be rewritten or something mm -hmm. vision quest charnel house is, is great 
Death Cat Mush. Yeah, this is... Oh, a Jewel of Utina. Should I sleeve this? It looks shiny. Yeah. We'll, we'll sleep. We'll sleep it. We don't. We don't know which which cards are actually worth a lot. Well, we know that the fatiguing order auras are worth a lot, right? Uh, uh, I know there's a bird that's worth the red bird that's worth a lot. Yeah, we're all we're all looking for the the red bird because the red bird is worth more than the the box. Oh, it's about about the same probably. It's like hundred dollars. So we just bought. Um, I'm not going to say how many. Uh, but we just bought a Dreamcatcher. bunch of Cryptid Nation to buy it. off of Card Shop Live for $30 a box. Unfortunately for you, they are out of stock. So, yeah. but I, I, not financial advice, but um, Cryptid Nation boxes are probably worth it. I was, I'm going to even say $100. Because <laughs> <laughs> they have reserve list cards in them. Anyone in the comments below can say if there are any reserve list cards at all in uh, native because I have not been able to find any information on that. Oh, and Isatok is uh, it's really difficult to get onto the field, but once you get it out, it's invincible, invulnerable. Try to show the uh, foil rare. Oh, this, this, oh, if, if there's a foil rare, yeah. Yeah. Not every pack has a foil rare, but every pack does yeah. have a rare in yeah, it. That's right. It's yeah. made the rares more accessible that every pack ha has a rare in it, but um, it's probably confused a lot of collectors. This is a reverse foil rare, a uh, squash blossom, squash blossom necklace, and a nanook. So these packs are a little bit different because in Cryptid Nation, all you could get was a foil rare. Right, yeah, they, they, they didn't have the, the non foil. I, I actually I like the art on this a lot. I like the art on this one too. But we'll see if we have any big hits in this box, in this pack. A Raven Mocker. Is that full hollow? We're gonna, we're gonna cards, save all our full hollows. Some of these cards definitely are starting to look more Yu-Gi-Oh like to me. Yeah, I think I, I think the artists realize, like there's a theory that you can only do. Um, 10,000 uh, bad drawings, so <laughs> the more <laughs> the more you do, the more you draw. Oh, I see tomorrow. Sure, I'll uh, I'll sleep this one. Some of the some of the full hollows are aren't worth a lot, but they're super nice. And and Uga Jao Sa Uda. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And the birth of the sun. Just they're they're all they're all great cards. And it would would have cost me more to to go through my list on TCG Player and and, and buy all the cards I wanted than tell it. Tupilak. An igloo. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Luckily, they they each say how to how to pronounce the in the comments. Let us know some cool combos that, that you discovered with, with uh, some of these cards. Because I'm sure not everything has, has been uh, discovered yet. So I'm not sure if we hit anything really big yet. I think when you get to the foil card, mm -hmm. you should put that stack over there. Okay, put so that. a pot of stagnation. Yep. We can have three of these. So I've, I've seen people open a lot, lots of pots of stagnation. I should look at the screen. Okay, this is better. Much better. Perfect. There we go. And another ghost dance. Nice. I think I'll keep the foil one sleeve and play the two non-foils in the deck. If I even make a deck with that. Probably will. A foil igloo. Oh, another another igloo. igloo. We can have four per spell book, so that's that's pretty good. Okay. This one I actually like a lot. Um, it's not worth a lot, but it's cool. A few more box openings like this, and the box prices should drop to thirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. There's probably something good in this box. We shall see.
No more jewels of Etina. You can have three in a spell book. And a battle rug. I'm not sure about these battle rugs. They seem to me a lot like the... Um, what are, what are the, the cards in that game we used to play? That, um, what, was like that a, what was it called again? Magic? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, Falling Stars of Asquidiad. And a Chibi Windigo. <laughs> nice. I'm making a, a Chibi, uh, black and white Chibi deck. So um, nice. the Chibi Windigo will definitely go into that deck. Hey, it's out, out. <laughs> <laughs> So at the end of the video, we'll show you guys all the sleeved things yep if we sleeve the right things yeah. <laughs> like, like, these are the cheapest cards in the whole thing you can sleeve the hundred dollar bird <laughs> we'll just we'll just throw, throw it out with the tokens oh winter solstice this should be pretty good i think yeah i got excited about this this guy because he was two colors but um i mm -hmm. guess he is available in uh in non-hollow so he's not one of the uh, native 19. Those are the 19 cards that people are looking for that are super hard to pull, as you can see. So not 20 cards, but 19. Because mm -hmm. it starts with an N. I think we're going to get a full set of igloos. Yeah. Whatever it's these are, looking, you can you can read them. It's looking uh, like that. It's, it's looking like I've, i got to make an igloo deck. It's a, it's a trap, so now I have to <laughs> figure out how figure traps out work. How traps work. Yeah. <laughs> I know how they work. If you attack the thing that they're under, then, then you can pay to flip them up. You have to pay two aura to flip up the igloo. Giant's blood. I like this. The giant's blood is probably going to be um, pretty useful. Hey, kitty. It's a trap. <coughs> and Katomi, the spider woman. And the birth of the sun, that's our second one. I think um, now I don't have to buy that one. <laughs> this is good. So the boxes always always lose value when, when you open them. I know. Well not always. I mean you can be extremely lucky, but that that should not factor in. Math is math. And eventually if you open enough boxes, you'll probably end up not um, not coming out ahead. Just selling them sealed is better. Another Raven Mocker. Four more packs. I just love opening packs. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great experience. It. So it's op open for fun. Don't expect to get anything like Alignac. Okay. Calm down. And I'm um, Marohu. Oh, <laughs> so these, these two guys go together. Like, it's like one is the head and one is the legs. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Should I sleep them together? I don't know. Sure. Yeah, because then I... We've got MetaZoo Kitty here hanging out with us. <laughs> Are you going to hear that in the background? It might. I don't know. And a crow mother. And another chippy Wendigo. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get three. Well, I got the third one in this pack. I think we, should, I think we should slow roll this pack. Let's see. All right, let's we'll slow, we'll roll, slow roll this last pack. Let's, let's see. Because we're, un, we're under 20 minutes. We got the Piazza Claw, the Surrounded by Wolves, Cabinet of Skulls. It's always nice to have. Nikotomi, a Panty, a Kogpuk, and a Dream Catcher. Oof. So we'll so, show the the full hollows. I think. So you didn't get a single one of the lands. No, no, no. They're they're really hard to pull. Really they're really hard to pull. Two, wow. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we have a bunch in here as well, which I <laughs> didn't actually sleeve all of the full hollow ones. But uh, we could probably cut off the video now and like come back to a, a screenshot of all of them. Sounds good. Like pause the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe.